Okay, guys, I just wanted to share with you guys. I know it's early in the morning, it's like 5 a.m., but I wanted to share with you guys what I take in the morning before I go to class, all right? So I get my airborne immune system stress. I take one in the morning and one I get back from class so I don't get sick. Multivitamins, I take them every morning. Krill oil, and the most important, memory armor. This has helped me so much. Short-term memory to retain all the information from class, you guys. It's been a lifesaver, because when it comes to memorization, I can memorize to save my life, and this has helped me retain all the information really, really well. So, we'll see you then. Bye. All right, you guys, so just finished the test, and we're back to the Test number two. Um, this is our class here. Good morning, class 470, five days for graduation. Four, let's do it. Woohoo, so I pass, you guys. You have to study, you have to know your stuff with some tricky questions. Oh, and guess what? In the middle of it all, my computer froze on my little laptop, so it took about 10 minutes to get it back to normal. Some of the people in my class had to leave the classroom and do a paper test uh, just because the computer test uh, froze. So that was not cool. I didn't get to do that. They were able to reboot my computer and I continued from where I left. Uh, the other people lost everything and they had to redo another test, which is horrible. But anyways, I'm here. I'm happy I passed. It is Monday. We're on week four and we're almost done. Finally done, you guys. Yay, I passed my test. I'm so happy. I'm back at the hotel and <clears throat> it has been an adventure. This has been the most, the hardest four weeks of my whole entire life. <clears throat> and if God didn't have enough twists and turns for me, as you saw in the video, I'm not sure if it was clear or not, but my computer stopped working in the middle of my test and we are timed. 45 minutes for a hundred question and I had 11 or 12 questions left and there was 17 minutes on the clock and I was panicking. I needed to get that done ASAP and um, my instructor was able to reboot it but it took 10 minutes so I lost that but he told me I've got you if you can finish them within that time that's great and I did. Um, I submitted the test and um, when I clicked upload um, it showed me that I passed. So it's the most nerve wracking couple of seconds because it uploads you see it thinking 10, 20, 30%, and then bing, you see your, and you see your test score. So that was stressful in itself, and I'm just glad it's all over. Uh, we had a lot of speakers come this week. It's all going to be speakers, and we're not going to do too much. Maybe a little bit of hands-on on the plane, um, getting ready for the OE. As you know, it's operational experience. They have you get in the plane, and they evaluate you. So I have three legs. Um, two of the these legs uh, <clears throat> are with the same crew and then the third one is a different crew and so you give them a sheet and they will sign it and let you know then we give it to our instructor we're not allowed to read it and it actually says if we are good to go on the line or not or if we don't know anything <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be stressful again but guess what we're at the end of the a line here we're almost done and we're going and party tonight so we're gonna go have some drinks and the whole class except for three that are not passing they're gonna have the retake tomorrow so I'm praying that they do well we don't want to lose them we've been a big family so see you later guys don't forget this test is hard hey guys I just wanted to share with you guys I know it's early in the morning it's like 5 a.m. but I wanted to share with you guys what I take in the morning before I go to class all right so I get my airborne immune system stress. I take one in the morning and one I get back from class so I don't get sick. Multivitamins, I take them every morning. Krill oil, and the most important, memory armor. This has helped me so much. Short-term memory to retain all the information from class, you guys. It's been a lifesaver because when it comes to memorization, I can memorize to save my life and this has helped me retain all the information really, really well. So, we'll see you then. Bye. All right, today was the last day before the OE. Tomorrow's our OE operational uh, experience. If you guys don't know what OE is, you basically take a flight and you have someone, um, you know, flight attendants to actually guide you. Um, so we're doing that tomorrow. And today we finished super early. So I'm kind of happy about that. We have our OE, and then Friday we have our last day of class with our graduation. So, I'm finally back in a hotel, 
And I'm gonna change into my civil clothes. I'm gonna take this off. And today was the first day that we got to wear our uniform and show it off to the world. And make sure that, you know, the instructors see it and approve of it before we go on our OE and we're officially on the plane. So excited. It's an early day tomorrow. I have to get up at four, but otherwise I am happy to uh, start working soon. See you. just got done with my two portion of my OE. I've got one more portion. I'm in Tampa and it went really, really well. I have one more and then I get to go back home and see if I pass. So um, I'm gonna grab a little something to eat real quick and um, I'm just excited that um, I'm just close to my wings. All right, you guys, I just got back from my OE and it went really well. <laughs> it was a little embarrassing because they actually announced that I was a newbie on the flight and I was, I was <laughs> new and she made it a point to underline that I was there and it was funny, but um, overall it was a great experience. I got this adorable goodie bag, you guys. Look what it says. It says congratulations and welcome to our SWA family. And the goodies, I can't even tell you. I'll probably post a picture so you guys see everything I got. That was so sweet. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going in my hotel now and my feet are dead. It's been a long day. We've had some delays, but overall, what a great experience you guys. The people were amazing on my flights. Just amazing, kind, loving. Um, I mean, something that stood out to me that made me feel like this is really the airline for me is when I saw a pilot leaving his cockpit. Um, we had just landed, all the passengers were off and he came in the back to help us clean on the seats. I was just like, are you serious right now? He was cleaning the seats one at a time and crossing the seat belts. And I'm like, that is incredible. And then the other pilot was helping one of the passengers, this is another pilot from another flight that I took. He was actually helping the wheelchairs and he was rolling someone out of the plane into the jetway. He was incredible. Um, very impressed, um, very thankful, and um, overall just happy. Great experience. And um, yeah, I am no longer needing this because tomorrow I'm getting my wings if everything goes well. Well, we don't know yet. Um, we had a sheet of paper that we gave our, um, basically our flight attendant. The first flight I was B, on the second flight I was C, and on the third flight I was A. And what they do is they just evaluate to see if you're doing a good job and you have to have at least five hour of flight time. Now, if they like what they see, they will write that down in there and they will seal it in an envelope that you're not allowed to open until you get to your basically your last day. So tomorrow I'm gonna give this to um, my supervisor or you know the instructors. They will open it and see if I'm ready to go on my own. If I'm not, then I have to redo it. And if I am, then I get my wings tomorrow. So <laughs> that's how it works. So I'm really excited. Um, I've got extras here that I don't need anymore. And uh, if I do go on my own, then I'm starting my new shift next week. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But other than that, this goodie bag really touched my heart and I started like being so emotional because it was so beautiful to see how, you know, all these people getting together, writing me a card, all saying all these nice things, all like all three flight attendants putting such a cute little message in there. It was so moving and so appreciated. <clears throat> and I'm gonna send a little text to the flight attendant that put this together for me. Um, she also took a picture, so I'll post a picture here. It was just a beautiful day. I was very stressed because I didn't know if I could perform from what I've learned on paper. But when we put it all together, it actually worked out. And they were very patient and very loving and understanding. So overall, greatest experience, you guys. If you ever experience being a flight attendant, definitely something to consider. All right, guys. See you later. Hi, guys. I am so tired. This is 
one month of accumulation of stuff and this is what my room looks like i'm packing i'm leaving tomorrow today i have my oe and i'm exhausted <laughs> uh yeah there's a lot of trash <laughs> realistically this is this was my living quarter for 30 days and yeah this is gonna be super heavy it was actually really heavy coming here uh, I ate some stuff, used some stuff. Hopefully, it's a little lighter, but this is reality, guys. Steady stuff, suitcase stuff, crappy stuff. <laughs> God, I gotta get going. Wish me luck. Graduation is here. It basically came and went, you guys. We reported at 6 a.m. that day. It was a very long taxing day. Last minute things to absorb before working. And some guest speakers. We talked about our OE experience all together. And got cute little gifts um, throughout the day. It was mainly a day where we sat there and realized that it was over and it was such a beautiful day. We were all in uniform sharing our experiences. It went by so fast. We sat there, we all had tears and looked at each other like we had accomplished something amazing. And if it wasn't for each other and our support, we wouldn't have made it this far. We wouldn't have made it this far. So what a great experience overall. Hi guys, I changed because we were supposed to go have a drink and that's all I had on me. <laughs> I'm heading home after 30 days. I'm in Dallas and uh, the flight is delayed so I'll see my babies a little bit later. But in the meantime, I'm here. I just had some pizza with my girl. This was the last day that we got to see each other. It was a little emotional. Uh, we pinned each other's uh, wings, took the shuttle, and uh, it was a little crazy because everybody was leaving at the same time and taking off and arrived at the airport at the same time. So that was a little bit crazy, but otherwise, I'm just happy to be um, heading home, you guys. That's it, look at me, the bun, so comfortable. I haven't had normal clothes in so long, so I'm really happy. Hi. All right, so that resumes my training. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my entire step-by-step -step crazy journey to a wing-wing me. I'm sad that I didn't film when I had my uniform on because as soon as we got here, we wanted to kill some time and have a drink, but I don't drink and then I just told the girls, I'll change too, but I'm just going to join you for pizza, but I'm not going to drink. Because um, if you drink and you're in uniform, it doesn't look right, right? So, but I'm going to have something to drink real quick. And, and uh, not alcohol, Starbucks. Starbucks. And that's it. So this resume my little adventure, you guys. So if you guys want to become a flight attendant, it is a journey. Um, I have to handle three suitcases um, plus the uniform so thank god I was able to find a nice lady from the store who gave me extra bags to put my uniform in otherwise I had to like check in two bags that were full to the rim and my bag was not overweight so that was um, that was something different I came in overweight but then I left some stuff behind so oh well. but anyways I'm done I'm happy we're done with everything so hey right. now I get to see my baby
like at 8 o'clock and woke up at 2. Woke at 2, got ready. I had everything laid out, washed, and just I just had to basically take a shower and leave. So, But I'm almost at the airport, so wish me luck on my first day. Peace out. I finally arrived in my hotel. And this is a view that I have outside, guys. You see the UPS? And then, what is that? Whatever line is that? Can't see it. Prime. Oh, okay. Prime, prime, prime. There we go, guys. It's another one in flight. And you know what I'm gonna do, right? <laughs> it's time to relax. <sighs> So happy to be home. Home sweet home, my hotel. <laughs> oh God, I gotta unpack quick, quick, and put everything on a hanger. And um, yeah, change and go eat something yummy. <laughs> my package is coming. My Amazon package is coming, I swear. It's coming, it's coming, you guys. There it is. I love you. I love you. Prime air. 